Hello everyone, my name is Alice and this channel is called Alice's Life. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I am packing for a conference. So my job title is Research Associate. I completed a PhD three years ago back in 2020 and I am now going off to America to present my work at an international conference, do some mingling and networking. But anyway, it's quite a big trip for me. I've never had to fly like trans atlantically for work before um i've only ever really been to paris so now this is a big event and i am trying to get organized and pack i actually recently went to america back in september if you want to go back and watch that but that's completely different that was for disney world in florida this time i'm going to new orleans in louisiana seven and a half days away six nights in the hotel and a lot of traveling either side so I'm just trying to get organised and I have been packing for about a week and it's still a few days before I head off but I'm just trying to get everything so I'm going to show you now what I've packed. Okay so these are all of the toiletries I am taking. So I'm taking this Garnier 50 Invisible Protect and then this is a little SPF 50 La Roche Posay for my face and then for having showers and stuff I have decanted some sleepy shower gel into here. And then I'm taking this aloe vera stuff for shaving my legs, because I always cut myself. And then I've got some Vaseline body lotion to moisturise. And then this is like the more section for if I get bitten. Apparently there's a lot of mosquitoes in the awning, so I'm taking this Jungle Formula Extra Strong Deet Spray. And then this is for when I get bitten. Bite and sting. I think I'm going to get bitten. Um, there's my deodorant, aloe vera. And then over here for washing my face, I think I'm going to do a double cleanse definitely in the evenings just because I'm going to be wearing sun cream and makeup and things. So this is just the simple face wash decanted into this silicone bottle and then I'm taking this. So for this miscellaneous water I need to use some cotton pads, so I pack those as well. I have decanted the ordinary moisturiser for my face into this container. I am going to finish off using this The Ordinary Buffet serum and then cause it's only a little drop left and then just leave the container I don't even know. I'll shake it like this and I'll get a couple of uses or f three uses out of it and then I'll just leave that over in America because it's empty eye cream this is my toothpaste because I've got sensitive teeth this is my hair conditioner hopefully they've got shampoo in the hotel because I'm not taking that in my attempt to pack kind of light so I'm just taking my own hair conditioner uh, this is like a prescription medication for acne, so I roll that onto my skin at night time. And then these are three silica gels for if I get an upset tummy, they are really, really good to have. I have just packed these into my little clear toiletries cases, and I've actually got quite a bit of space still, so I think I'm going to take this Garnier Ultimate Blend Coconut Oil. There's only a little bit left, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it all used up on this trip but it would be good if I did and then I wouldn't have to bring that bottle home. So yeah, there's my toiletries ready to pack. I am going to take some snacks and cereal bars and stuff just because I don't want to pay for overpriced food at the airport. Or I think when I was there a few months ago, the supermarkets in America are way more expensive than they are here in the UK. So I got these five Belvita breakfast tops with chocolate hazelnuts and five of those were a pound. And then here's a spare one, so I'll take six of those. And then I've got these dark chocolate and hazelnuts from B&M, a Nomo chocolate bar, I've got six herbal tea bags, these are really nice. I've got three little lactose free milk pouches just to take to the conference and then I can have coffee there in case they don't have suitable milk for me because I've got a lactose intolerance. I've got some sweets to keep me going if I'm struggling and also a few chewing gums left. Uh, I've got six of these nature valley cereal bars and three packets of these oat cakes which are really nice and there's only three in a packet i'm going to take this mango roll and also this for the flight along with some other food but all the rest of this is going to go into my main suitcase and i'm going to put it in this carrier bag just so i don't know i'll probably put, bring something home in this carrier bag and then hopefully get most of this food consumed on the trip. I am going to take four pairs of shoes on this trip. I know I'm not actually there that long, I'm only there for five full days, but anyway I'm going to wear these for flying and also the first couple of days where I'm going to be doing some sightseeing and touristy things. These have just been in the washing machine so they are sparkling. 
on days one and three of the conference I'm going to wear these Clark's patent heeled shoes. They are not particularly comfortable. I have been trying to wear them in, but I did wear them for my graduation ceremony and they were very painful. So day two of the conference I'm going to wear these to give my feet a bit of a rest. These are quite cheap and they're just from TK Maxx, but they are real leather. And then in the evenings and stuff I thought it would be good. Well, I the like posh events in the evenings I'll wear these but if we're just going out for a casual meal or something I'll wear these shoes from Clark's they're a little bit dirty looking but they just are very quick and they don't take up much space in the suitcase and I thought they would be better than wearing these something a little bit more casual and summery I am now going to go through what I am going to wear on each day of the trip and I've also taken photos so you can see those as well so you can see what the items look like while I'm wearing them so I'm actually travelling from Ireland to Ireland, so it's going to be a bit nippy. So I am taking a musto fleece. I am not going to take a raincoat, just because it won't be needed in New Orleans. I'm going to kind of risk it and try and see if I can do the leg of the trip in Ireland without a coat. But anyway, fleece is much needed. I'm going to be taking sweaty Betty power leggings to wear on the flight. And then I've also got this sort of black and white fitted stripy t-shirt from H&M. And... I'm also going to be wearing these black sketches, which I said earlier. So that's my travel outfit planned. On the travel day back to the United Kingdom, I'm going to be wearing the same as I wore on the way out, but instead of the stripy t-shirt, I'm going to wear this sort of next, a bit baggier t-shirt, which is navy, it's got this pocket here, and yeah, because it's going to be an overnight flight, I'd rather wear something a bit baggier, so that's for on the way home, but I'll be wearing the same shoes and same leggings. These are the pyjamas I am taking, they're this simple sort of grey set from Next, it's like a small grey little pocket, bottoms like this, quite small but I think it's going to be warm. On the first day of the trip I think we're just going to do a bit of walking and stay fairly close to the hotel because we're going to be struggling with the 6 hour time difference and a bit of jet lag. But I'm going to wear this top which I recently purchased from New Look, so it's this blue one, they do 2 for £14 or it's 8 99 each. And it's nice, it's got this sort of frilly detail and I'm going to wear this with these new shorts which I recently purchased, very recently actually, from St. Breeze. And they are just quite nice and swishy and it kind of looks like you're wearing a skirt but they are the softest fabric and they have got pockets. So this is what I'm wearing the first day along with my Skechers trainers and the second day is also going to do a bit of sightseeing but we have organised to go, like my colleague and myself, we've organised to go to a slave plantation so I'm going to wear these pink shorts which I bought last year from Marks and Spencers they're really nice they've got decent pockets and I'm probably going to wear a belt with these and I'm going to wear this top which is from Jack Wills it's a little bit smart but I'm trying to stay like not super casual because it is a work trip so that and then to go with that I've got this cardigan because we will be going further afield I think it would be good to take a cardigan and this is just like a blue cardigan from white stuff. On those first couple of evenings and also later on when the conference actually starts, it's good to take just some casual clothes, I think, for in the evenings if we go out for a meal or something. So I'm taking taking this dress from Oasis and I actually bought this in a charity shop a few years ago, but it's probably one of my favourite dresses of all time. It's very easy breezy and it's got this nice sort of metal detailing at the back and if it's a bit nippy in the evenings i'm going to wear this cardigan and this is from next it's just like a simple navy cardigan but it's got a sort of on the sleeves it's got a little i don't know crystal thing and then the second dress i'm taking just like casual wear in the evenings is this dress from h&m which i bought for like two pounds from a charity shop this can be improved if you wear a belt to cinch in the waist so i might do that or i might just wear it open and it's quite like it's not a maxi dress but it's fairly long. I feel very lucky in that my conference presentation is on the first day, the first session of the whole conference and that is the 8.30am to the 10am slot. So good to get it out of the way. Anyway for that first day my boyfriend bought me this green dress as part of my birthday present. So it's this really nice green print, very grown up and it's beautifully fitted. It is size 8. It cost £27.50 in case you're wondering because it's probably the only item here that's still available in a shop but yeah I really like it and I'm super looking forward to wearing this on the first day of the conference 
So I'll be wearing that with my patent heels and also this Jack Wills blazer, which I bought probably back in 2015 or 2016. Yeah, and it's got this nice spotty silky bit inside. So outfit for the first day. My outfit for the second day, I'll be wearing black loafer shoes and I'll be wearing these sort of three quarter length or slightly longer trousers and these are from Wallace. They're quite like a relaxed slouchy fit. Well, they are formal trousers, but they're not like super tight. And then I will be wearing a simple vest, I think this, yeah, from Matalan. The vest from Matalan and over the top of that, I'll be wearing this, which I think, yeah, it's from Warehouse. This top, which is really nice and lacy. So I like the look of these trousers along with this and then just have something to cover up in case there's a lot of air conditioning on the go. I will wear this bright blue cardigan so I think the outfit looks quite nice. And then the last day of the conference there's quite a large like big event meal on so I'm going to wear this posh dress from Monsoon. So it's black with kind of like beige spots. It's quite heavy so I'm hoping it's not going to be too warm because it's fully lined and it's quite a decent like well made fabric. But I really like this dress. This was only £6 in a charity shop. And with this dress, I'm going to wear this blazer from Per Una. It's this coral colour, which is a little bit bright and out there. But I'm kind of thinking I might get another wear out of this. Maybe in the evenings if I wear it with like this dress. I think that could kind of go. Or maybe like this dress. If I want to wear something over my arms. Yeah, so that's all the clothes that I'm taking. I now need to roll it up and put it in some packing cubes and like work out which packing cubes to take on this trip. I have packed a couple of like ankle socks into those court patent shoes just to keep their shape during the trip. I've got like a nude bra, a nude strapless bra, some pairs of pants, some more ankle socks, a leather belt and then I'm also taking this Primark bucket hat. Look at how good this looks. My three packing cubes which I bought in Matalan last year perfectly slot in and this is all my clothing. So in here we've got the work sort of thing. So we've got the blazers, dresses, cardigans etc. Here we've got my pyjamas and more casual stuff for the first couple of days and here we've got my underwear, sun hat. So it all slots in really really well and for the trip, I'm going to take this to wear in like the evenings. So it's this black bag from TK Maxx and it's really good. It just fits in my phone and a card, like my room card and things. And then I bought this from Accessorize. This was £45, but I got 20% off, so £36. And it's real leather and it's got this suede. The strap is adjustable and I thought this would be good for the conference days and also the sightseeing nice and smart so these can go on the top like this i think and then i will just clip this so we've got all of the clothing items and bags over here and then there's this side which can be zipped across so i'll put the shoes at the back i put all three pairs of shoes i'm taking here over there i've got my snacks two bags of toiletries Inside this pouch I've got all my makeup and things. I'm actually taking quite a lot of makeup just because it is a work trip. So I've got all like my daily things that I would use, some little brushes and then I've got some larger brushes which I still need to go and wash. And I'm even taking an eyeshadow palette in case I decide to do that. So yeah, all this is just the makeup. And then in this little packing cube I have got the cotton wool pads, my tangle tees, a hairbrush a little shaving blade, a kid's toothbrush, these are all my hair accessories that I am going to take with me, I've got the plug adapter, I'll keep that in its box, and then in this stacker's little case, jewelry case, I am taking three pairs of earrings and a necklace, and I'm going to have to take my promise ring off and put it in there, so all my jewelry I'm taking is silver, that just There is definitely space to pack more, but I don't need to take any more because I'm only away for six nights, like seven and a half full days. So it's just going to be a little bit empty, I think, my suitcase. But that means there's space for me to bring things home if I need to. I have downloaded two or three books onto my Amazon Fire to read, 
but I think on the flight and things I'm not going to be wanting to stare at ebooks I'm not that keen on ebooks anyway but like I'll be watching tv on the screen and then like I think I'll rather have a paper book so on the flight to there I'm going to take this which is the perfect wife I bought it in a charity shop very recently for maybe one or two pounds so I'm going to read this while I'm there and leave it in America this will not be coming back with me and then my book for the return journey is going to be this one which I've wanted to read for the longest time but I bought it for only a pound last week because it's, it's quite expensive but I'm looking forward to reading this Sorrow and Bliss so this book can go in here because I don't need it with my hand luggage I don't need to take a lot of toiletries with me onto the actual plane because I'm taking most of it in the big suitcase but I thought I could take some Rescue Remedy a concealer, I've got some decanters, Nivea hand cream in there and then a little Peppa Pig melon scented hand sanitizer to try and encourage me to sanitize my hands and avoid getting ill on this trip. And then I'm going to take this little Kath Kidston case which is really handy just with some other little bits that I may, might need on the trip. So I've got some earplugs, a chapstick which is SPF 10 a little thing for cleaning my teeth, like a TP thing, some face powder, this is like blotting shine absorbing sheets, a glass, a MAC lipstick and this is in the colour Shanghai Spice, I'll take just one cough sweet and this is my eye mask which I got for Christmas. This is my work rucksack and what I will be taking on the aeroplane with me. I like it because it's got lots of different pockets and things. I haven't quite decided if I am going to take my laptop yet, but this is what I have got organised so far. So I'm taking just a little water bottle. I'm going to take my little fan, which I took to I bought for Florida, but I thought I might as well take it for this trip because it should be quite warm. This is a blow-up pillow for on the flight, and it lives in this little bag. In here is my passport and some other documents and paper for writing things at the conference. In here I've got my sunglasses and they are these ones which are from Ted Baker. I really like them and they suit me. I've got my Amazon Fire and a reading book. In here I've got kind of medication and things. A little pencil case and toiletries and I'm going to be taking a packed lunch and other food things in there. Yeah, so all that is going in there. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some outfit ideas or inspiration of what you need to pack for a work trip away. I am really looking forward to the trip. I don't know how much filming I'm going to get done, but I might make uh, maybe one or two YouTube shorts just of sites around New Orleans. Anyway, bye.